From our South Carolina Capital Newsroom, doctors in the Palmetto State have another tool at their disposal to reduce the spread of treatable sexually transmitted diseases. It is called expedited partner therapy. WSAB's Jason Raven tells us what this practice is. Until earlier this year, South Carolina was one of two states where expedited partner therapy wasn't allowed. The state board of medical examiners prohibited expedited partner therapy due to a need to establish a physician patient relationship before prescribing medication. But in February, the board updated their position to allow this practice in the state to treat gonorrhea and chlamydia. We're one of only two states in the country that didn't have expedited partner therapy. So it's nice that we can do it again. <laughs> An expedited partner therapy is recommended by the CDC. Now, it is the clinical practice of treating the sexual partners of patients diagnosed with chlamydia or gonorrhea without them needing to step foot in the doctor's office. Now, physicians in South Carolina cannot provide prescriptions to a patient to give to their partner or partners. We know that even if you may have gotten it from someone else, you can still transmit it to them. And the idea is to slow or hopefully stop the spread of these diseases. Now, Dr. Katie Wyant is a resident OBGYN in South Carolina. Now she says these treatable STDs could have some long-term effects for her patients if it's not treated in a timely manner. It's something that can potentially affect your entire future and the future of your child. So it's a very serious thing and it, it has a pretty easy solve if we are just able to treat patients appropriately. She's hopeful more physicians in South Carolina use expedited partner therapy in the future. A report released by the CDC this year shows South Carolina ranked fourth in infection rates for both chlamydia and gonorrhea. Jason Raven, WSAB News 3, on your side.